Probably. Uh, no. no. <laughs> okay. I've never well, seen you. Um, we're actually our group is leaving us. It's really nice to meet you. We'll see. I, I, I have a quick. I have a question. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't mind, like it. If, I, I think we're I could, I could walk with you. I could walk with you. Uh, um, I, I, got, I have a question. All right, so like, um, you guys have uh, sixty-six books in your Bible, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where did they come from? Where did the Where did those books come from? Well, we have. I think I remember talking to you about this with my friend Marquise at, uh, a while back ago. I think we were showing you the. Uh, is that is that is that is that why uh, you could be you could be honest with me? Is that is that, is that why you guys are you you, you trying to leave? Like because we had a conversation before. I, I you remember do. Me? I remember. Yeah, I remember yeah. that we were talking to you. I think. Right. Um, who who uh, when when was this? Oh, you know what? I think this, I remember yeah, you. This was I remember like, you. You you didn't. I didn't speak to you. I sp I spoke to yeah, your friend, the yeah. the, 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 the my, tall black yeah, the tall black guy, mm -hmm. and yeah, and yeah. Um, he had said two, he had said two things. One of the things I remember him talking about. Uh, he talked about the Greek Septuagint, right? Mm -hmm. But um, but he misspoke or he he misspoke on the Greek Septuagint. Mm -hmm. He was saying something. About, it was something about that. But I remember him misspeaking about the Greek Septuagint or whatever. But uh, yeah. Um, so so you have sixty six books in your Bible, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So so who decided on which books were going to be in the Bible? Like who who was the what Jehovah Witness, um, what group of Jehovah Witnesses uh, decided what books were going to be in the Bible? Well, basically what we believe is that the 66 books that they were inspired through Holy Spirit to be written. The Holy the, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and they were, those were determined the 66 books. The, the Holy Spirit? You know, every when when I have conversations with Jehovah's Witnesses, I I, I want to see what you the, the source that you pull up. But every time I have conversation with Jehovah's Witnesses, I'm not I'm not asking any disrespectful question. I'm not asking any uh any questions. Uh, I'm not I'm not asking any trick question. They're genuine question because um I used to be a Jehovah's Witness, right? So so I'm I'm on the outside looking in, right? I'm not a Jehovah's Witness anymore, right? But I'm aware of the doctrines. So like when I ask Jehovah's Witnesses, you guys are not on the outside looking in. So I want to see from your perspective, like. How would you, as a Jehovah Witness, because as me as a Jehovah Witness, I wouldn't have had an answer for these. But maybe you, as a Jehovah's Witness on the on the inside, maybe you guys have an answer for that. So that's why I come and I, and, and I'm asking questions. But the 66 books, right? Mm -hmm. um, they're in the Bible, but at one point in time, they were not in the Bible, right? Mm -hmm. So, so I, I want to know what's the uh, what is what is the justification or what group of Jehovah's Witnesses put those books together? That that's 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 what I want to know. Okay, that's, yeah. a, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, well, I'm seen to find it right now but um so what if i told you like uh, what if i told you and uh you tell me if you believe me or if you don't believe me if you think if you think I'm making it up or do you trust what i'm saying what if i told you that the men who decided which books were going to be in the bible were trinitarians what would you say um do you have evidence of that well, yeah, there's historical evidence of that, right? There's different councils, right? So, so throughout history, there's church councils that decided which books were going to be in the Bible, right? Now, obviously, uh, with the Protestants, Protestants, uh, um, they have a different canon than the Eastern Orthodox, and the Eastern Orthodox have a different canon than the, Ro than the Roman Catholic Church, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but all three of those groups are Trinitarian groups, right? So um, that's, I mean, that's not a, that's not a, a theological thing, right? Obviously, it's the theology is involved when making the decision, but um, that fact is not uh, a fact of theology it's not a uh, a reason of theology it is a uh, it is a fact of history that these councils were, were trinitarians right mm. so like are you aware of the uh the the new world translation in uh the the first new world translation um published by the watchtower bible and tract society are, are you aware of it yeah okay so it only had the new testament right mm -hmm. do you know why it had the it only had the new testament mm, no why because um because the um the 
the concept or the the uh, the goal was to in to place Jehovah's name where the tetragrammaton was, right? So like you guys restore Jehovah's name to the uh, to to uh, to the um, uh, the Bible, right? Now the American Standard Version, I believe it was published in 1907, but uh, the American Standard Version it actually had the name Jehovah in the Old Testament, right? And that's you guys have it on, as as an available download on your uh, on your channel. The uh, it inserted or it placed Jehovah's name where the tetragrammaton was, but only in the New Testament. It didn't do it in the New Testament because the New Testament was written in Koine Greek, right? And by that time, there was no uh, the Greek text. Uh, they they operated from the Greek Septuagint, right? They didn't operate from the Masoretic text. So when the um, uh, when they uh, you know when they quoted from the Old Testament, they didn't use the tetragrammaton. They used Kyrios or Lord, right? So in the New Testament, there's no evidence. There's no historical evidence, no data or anything like that that the name Jehovah existed in the New Testament, right? So that's why when the New World Transition came out in 1950, they only had the New Testament to put the name Jehovah, uh, to put the name Jehovah in the New Testament, but there was no justification. That wasn't based off of the trans, it wasn't based off of a translator's, uh, it was motivated by theology, right? It wasn't just, okay, I'm just translating a text, right? And an example is when you look up, if you look on the kingdom interlinear, you look up every mention of Jehovah, right? A quotation from the Old Testament, where it uses the name Jehovah, you'll see even in the interlinear, um, Jehovah's name doesn't appear, right, in the Greek text, right? And another, uh, and another <laughs> for the proof, the name for Jehovah, um, what is it in Hebrew? Do you know what, what it is? It's Yahweh, right? What is it in Greek? Yeshua. Yeah, sure. That's a Hebrew name. But the thing is that we're yeah. using, using God's name. Yeah, what, it's actually. What, what congregation did you go to? Uh, I don't remember, but it was. Um, but what, actually, your, what, what's your last name? What well, you said, Yeshua. The name in the. What's the your last name? Uh, it's Espinosa. The. Uh, what is Esp it? It's Espinosa. Um, the. Yeah. Um, Spanish 